Today I'm going to show you how to flush a wave runner after being used in salt water. Alright, first thing what I'll do is I'd come to the back. I've already got my um, flushing hose in the back of the ski right here. So what this is, it's a flushing hose, it's easy to connect. What you do is unscrew this part here, grab the flushing hose, put it in, turn to the right, or you could say clock clockwise, get your hose set uh, ready, and then we'll start connecting everything up. Hose, come here, connect the hose. Get to the center console, as I, I call it. Grab your lanyard out, close the center console, and put the kill switch in. When the lanyard is connect, tap start. Don't start it, just tap start just to get the LCD screen up and going. We've got to start the ski now before you turn the tap on. So we'll start it. And now we'll go turn the tap on. And once the tap's on, come to the left side of the ski and you should be able to see water come from here. This means you're flushing your engine and all the water's going through your engine and out. You should be flushing your engine for about five to 10 minutes, give or take. Um, you wanna get as much salt out as possible. Once your time's up, what you do is you'll go turn off the tap and you come to your ski and what I'd recommend, not to give it a big rev, but a couple, a couple of revs and then turn off. All right, so when you're done flushing your ski, what I'd recommend is putting the uh, the flush hose back in here so you know it's there already. Grab the flush cap and then screw it back on so it's closed at all times. Once screwed on, close, it, close the hatch and you're ready to go again. Okay, just make sure as well, keep your bung plugs out just in case if it gets any bit of water in it, it can always drain out. Take the kill switch out. Now I'm ready to go out next week.